Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. This video is on Dragon Ball Safer, and today I'm here with Glacier. Please introduce yourself. What is up everybody of the Frosty Force? It's Glacier the Frost Demon here. What are we talking about? How does Dragon Ball <laughs> How does Dragon Ball Super compare to other animes or GT? Um, how do you think it compares to GT? I feel like I I don't know if I can compare it yet, but from you know the big since they're on episode eight or well, nine, I guess I'm gonna compare it to like the first nine episodes of GT. GT's pacing went well. They started their first episode, you know, kind of peaceful and everything. And then you know Goku and Pan, you know, getting blasted off in their off of Earth. Goku, Pan, and Trunks, my bad. And they went in the whole that whole fiasco, you know, immediately getting into trouble. And then Dragon Ball Super has it to where it was like the first two, two, three episodes of introduction, a small little fight, then a bit more talking and talking, and then some more, you know, one huge fight, and that was just Beerus and everybody else getting their ass whooped. I mean, I mean, yeah, um, the pacing of Dra uh, Dragon Ball Super, it's kind of, um, it's geared to more, pe more peaceful time, the ten year gap, um... So the pacing has been a little slower and a little rough around the edges. Um, but in terms of story, I reckon, even though it's a retelling, I think Dragon Ball Super does have a more compelling story. Mm -hmm. The first off, Dragon Ball uh, GT was kind of lackluster. They're just, I mean, they're uh, making it go out very well. Yeah, um, GT's pacing was good. It just went into the action right away. It was just solid pacing. Have you seen episode 8 of uh, Dragon Ball Super yet? Not yet. Okay, I wanted to say something, but never mind. No, sure, go for it. Not a mind to do boilers. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Beerus, like, comes in, and he's literally about to destroy the Earth. Like, he's a flick away from destroying the Earth, and Goku just pops in and says, Hey, don't do that. And starts playing epic music. Really? Okay, yep. That's cool. Um, I think in terms of quality, Dragon Ball Super is a much more well-animated series. Ah. Uh, even though that was made in 2015 and GT was made in 1996, I believe, or 1997. It was 96. Um, yeah. So, I don't know, it just looks better aesthetically. I do like the new visual animation um, in Dragon Ball Super, and I like the characters, I like the performance more than GT, but I still like GT, but, it, and, you know, other anime. Um, how do you think it compares to, uh, let's say, One Piece or Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super? Attack on Titan, I, I can't even compare that to any other anime. Its pacing is literally like the first five minutes of the show. Ah. It's just, it was a lot of killing and death and a lot of, its pacing was weird, but its fights were very epic. Like, it was really good, really good. But, uh, okay. One Piece and such, mm, that's a difficult, I'd say it's pretty good compared to the, to One Piece. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Ball Super, in my eyes, um, if they still, you know, flub up the animation in some episodes and in some portions of the show, it can't really be compared with, with you know, One Piece and all that stuff. Yeah. More modern animes, you know, but it's still, you know, a quality anime so far, Dragon Ball Super is, but the pacing is really an issue, and the narrative direction, I don't know whether they're trying to serve to the... Dragon Ball Kai fans or the fans of the two movies. And I've explained this in the past episodes. I feel like it's Kai. Of the show. Um, but yeah, yeah, I think it's a sequel to Kai, but they need to explain, um, you know, it needs to stand on its own on, like, how Pilaf Gang, how they got turned back into kids and such, you know? Oh, yeah, they never went into detail on that like they did in the movie. Like, Pilaf wished them to be kids again for eternal youth. Yeah, so I guess they're saying, oh, better watch the movie. Hope they, hopefully they explain it, but I'm not really sure if they are. Also, how King Kai got his planet back, which was explained in the manga chapter, but come on, it should stand on its own, the anime to the manga, you know? It should. Yeah, I agree. Um, so, any final thoughts, uh, Glacier? Where do you rank Dragon Ball Super in terms of anime series? Of course, we have the top Dragon Ball Kai. Well, in my opinion. I'm going to agree with that. Yep. So, Dragon Ball Z doesn't even count because we're comparing Kai, you know? Because uh, we rank Kai at number top. So, Dragon Ball Kai, and then I'll have the original Dragon Ball here. And then Dragon Ball Super and then Dragon Ball GT. 
Mm, GT and Dragon Ball in general. That's a difficult one. Because I like GT a lot. Mm. Like, character designs and such. I just love it. But, mm. actually, I'll say Dragon Ball is better. Because the overall story and such. Dragon Ball Super? No, like, Dra Dragon Ball Super comes... I'm going to have to say Dragon Ball Super comes in after everybody else. I can't really... Actually, I can't really rank it at all. Because it's just started. I know, but this is just sort of first impressions. How would you rank the first nine episodes of, you know, Dragon Ball Z compared to Dragon Ball Super? Above GT. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you all for listening. Thank you, um, Glacier, for coming on here. No problem. Um, I'd love, you have, love to have you more often. But anyway. We're going to do uh, these a lot more once I get that, you know, that new surprise. I'm not going to say it on camera. I'm not on camera on video. Alrighty. Well, um, please sub to Glacier's channel, everyone. That's pretty much it, guys. See you guys next time. Love you all to death. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.